A tumble opened up its season tonight with a stiff test. The number one team in Iowa, West Des Moines Valley. We go to Schaefer Stadium in Tumwa. Coming out to the home fans, giving them a standing ovation. 3-7 and seven last year, the Bulldogs hoping for a lot better season. First quarter, Valley, Tanner Stein to Clint Buffelli, 7-zip, Tigers up quickly. Then a tumble quarterback, Alice Goodwin, looked comfortable in the pocket early. There's Kyle Keck with the first down. Later on in the half, Valley threatening deep in a tumble territory, but the defense comes up big, gets the turnover on downs, and a big celebration after this play. This is huge. Atumwa's defense was very porous last year, and they turned it around tonight against the number one team in the state. Late second quarter, Alex Goodwin finds a streaking Kyle Keck down the sideline, inside the red zone, inside the 15-yard line, but Atumwa could not take advantage. Justin Vonderhaar misses the 33-yard field goal. Atumwa would go scoreless into the half. It would be 7-0 at halftime. Valley goes on to win 28-0. Elsewhere on the gridiron in the eight-man class, Moravia hosted Lamoni, and Moravia's Donovan Beatty hits the quarterback here, knocking the ball out of his hand. John Eastlick would recover, and the Mohawks, that would be probably the only positive thing of the night, unfortunately. Lamoni's Jacob Williams would get the carry, then cut back, and he finds the end zone. Lamoni would make the two-point conversion after this. It was 8-0. Then, later on, it was more Williams, this time from 86 yards out. Beats all the Mohawks down the field. Great running there by Jacob Williams. It's 16-0 Lamoni. Another Lamoni touchdown, and it was all Lamoni, 60-6 over Moravia. Now, let's go to Fred Beck down in Kirksville. Let's head to the Milan Jamboree. It's the host school and Knox County. Milan in green, Mason Thompson with a better move than Beacons as the senior takes it to the sidelines for a big gain. Give credit to the Milan line. Tyler Curtis hits the crease. He picks up 30 big yards on the play. Donovan Edwards of Knox County wants to throw the ball but doesn't. It might have been a bigger gain if he hadn't slipped. Next up, it's Putnam County and Princeton. Putnam County in blue. It's Jacob Parker with the pitch. Garrett Brooks makes one guy miss as the Midgets were moving the ball early on. The Midgets can dazzle you with some moves. Parker picks up another six yards on the play. Let's end it with Knox County and Putnam County. Knox County in black. Andrew Hodge takes the handoff. He will cut it back and pick up the big first down. Then it's Donovan Edwards who waits for number 36 to spring him with the block. Nice gain by Edwards down the sidelines. Then let's check out Jacob Parker as number 10 for Putnam County. Takes it outside and he would move the chains. The future stars of high school football were playing a little flag football tonight as members of the Kirksville Flag Football League practiced. The first through fourth graders will play their first game next Friday night at Spainhower Field at 5 o'clock. The Truman State football team held another scrimmage this morning. A lot of the younger guys got reps when we were there. Everybody got a big surprise after practice when Bulldog Hall of Famer and legendary boxing trainer Jenks Morton talked to the team. A Bulldog forever means something to Morton as his experience at Truman changed his life. When you come to college, you come in as a kid, it's probably the first time away from home. The people here took care of me like I was at home, so I feel at home when I come back through here. The Missouri offense looked good today at practice. James Franklin threw three touchdown passes. Russell Hansborough ran for another as the offense dominated today's practice. Down in St. Louis tonight, Tim Peters of Kirksville threw out the first pitch at the Cardinals game. He told me that he's practiced for the event a lot, and he was ready. I'm sure he did a great job on the field, though. Tonight, the Cardinals lost to the Pirates by the score of 2-1. to 